Ready to lift more? I'm Joel Freeman, creator of Lift More, which is a five day a week strength program designed to get you lean and strong in just eight weeks. In less than 45 minutes, I'll take you through simple but effective moves with a proven formula of classic weightlifting and HIT that will make you sweat, it will make your muscles burn, and make you want even more. Ah, are you sweating? Somebody better be sweating. We'll get started with the workout in just a minute, so take your Energize if you have it and get a bench. You'll need an incline bench for this program and, of course, a range of dumbbells. I'd say from 5 to 50 pounds, but it all depends on how heavy you want to lift. Come on, let's go. So here's what to expect. Each day is focused on specific muscle groups, and we switch from lifting days with a burnout to a lift and hit day. HIT, of course, stands for High Intensity Interval Training to give you that burst of cardio burn. This is the magic formula from my original Lift 4 program. And like Lift 4, each workout ends with targeted core work. And of all the fitness programs you may have done in the last couple years, this one's gonna make you wanna go grab your partner. No, not that way. I'm saying this is a program that will get great results for women, but no doubt my guys are gonna want their turn. This is the lifting program you have been waiting for, guys. We've got a workout calendar and dumbbell tracker so you can watch your progress as you get stronger over the next eight weeks. Now, I know there's sometimes some fear of getting bulky when it comes to weightlifting. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna happen. That comes all down to your nutrition. I wanna see amazing results from this program, so I need you to follow portion fix or tubi mindset so you know your nutrition is dialed in for the specific results you want. And if you want results like the people in our test groups, do what they did and take the right supplements. We call it the Joel Stack. With pre-workout Energize, it's clinically proven to give you more power and stamina for your workout, hydrate to feed your system during the workouts, recover to help accelerate muscle recovery, and protein recharge to promote muscle growth overnight. Hey, you ask for more results, this is how you get there. Because that's the all-in commitment I'm looking for. All right, now enough of me talking. Hopefully you've got the Energize tingle, your bench, dumbbells, and you're ready to lift more. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Lift More Sample Workout. My name is Joel, that's Katie, that's Austin, and we are so happy you decided to join us to get a little taste of everything that is awesome about Lift More. We're gonna get right into it, but first, here are our lifters. Welcome, guys. That's a good looking team right there. Oh. And you're looking good too, and you're gonna feel good as we get right into the warm up of this. Now, torso rotations, heels up, toes down, chest lifted. We're gonna take a few minutes to get your body moving before we get the weights moving as well. Big deep breath in, and lots of fun things to happen in this workout. It's gonna be a sample. It's gonna be a little bit of everything that you'll experience in the actual Lift More program. Last one, then go ahead and set your feet, bring your arm up, shoulder rolls. This style is called lift and hit. It means we're gonna lift first, hit, high intensity interval train, last one, bring it to the back. And then we get to go core to finish. There's always a core component every, every single one of my workouts. Last time around, and then go and switch arms, bring it around to the other side. And it's also because it's a shorter workout, you're gonna see that it's a little bit different. We normally do three sets of 12. Today, you're only doing two sets, just so you can get that full body experience. Bring it around, bring it back. And don't get me wrong, two sets are challenging, Absolutely. right? Yeah, right? You're gonna feel it no matter what. Last one, and then go ahead and bring arm swing. So bring your arms to the front and then bring it back. So you open up your chest and your back. Now remember I said full body. We don't normally do that. We usually go muscle splits into five days a week, but right now you get to have that full body experience. It's not an out of body, it's a full body. You're gonna like it though, I promise you. Last one. And then go ahead, alternating hip openers. Take your hands on your hips, bring your foot up, tap the toe, bring it back around, get the hips opened up, alternating sides, and bringing it back. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty strong, even in the warm up. I like it. Nicely done. Give me one more each side, please. Last one, and then we're gonna go into one squat, one reverse stepping lunge. Nice and easy, take your feet down, sink into your squat, step back, nice and safely, bring it down, other side. Equipment-wise today, you need your bench, adjustable incline. Then, you're gonna need dumbbells, of course. You're gonna need power loops as we go through it. We're not using those today, but that is part of the program. And then, you just need your body, because we get to hit it, 
I want to say hit it and quit it, but then you have to still do core. So we can't even do that. All right, there we go. Enough of that. Here we go into the first block of work. Supersets means two exercises back to back. You'll see that our bench is already in an incline position. Team's going to get their weights ready to go. Make sure the bench is locked in, it's stable, it's secure. And we're going to go first two exercises. Incline, rotating press. That's your chest. Then we're going to bring it around to the back of the bench and go what's called incline supinated row. So your first exercise, lay back on the bench, pushing up and rotating the dumbbells up to the top as you come up. And then you're going to come up around the back of the bench. One single heavy dumbbell, set your feet, supinate a row, knuckles down, palm open, pulling the elbow in, really getting into the back muscles, all right? 12 reps, control. I've got 40s, Austin's got 40s, Katie's got 15s. As we push through this, it's all about your form and your technique. Ready to go? Ready to go? Ready. Lifters are ready to go. Bend your knees, pick up the dumbbells. We're gonna roll them up safely, get into the press position, and we work in three, Two, one, push up and rotate as you come up. Anytime we do any movement with the dumbbell, make sure you have your fingers wrapped all the way around the dumbbell, hold on to it. And as you press, you rotate the dumbbells inward and you bring it down, stopping right in line with the shoulders and try to think about pressing up right over the middle of the chest. We go a controlled pace so we never rush through these moves. We feel the strength in the muscles that we're working. You've got two more, stop with your elbows right in line with your shoulders. That was 11, here comes 12. Nice, and bring it down safely, set it down. Now, I'm gonna keep my 40, bring it around to the back, and we go into your supinated rows. A Little bit different than a regular row because of the way we do our grip. So bend your knees, pick up the dumbbell, use the bench to stabilize your body, flatten the back, turn the knuckles down towards your foot, ready to go. Lifting in three, two, one, elbow in close to the body and down. You can see the staggered stance allows us to lean forward and the dumbbell should be heavy enough to where you can't shrug it or curl it. You have to use your bigger muscles in your back to lift it up and in close to your body. Squeeze your elbow towards your side. You should feel it brush against your side. Two more, last one. Bend your knees, set it down. We just go quick switch to the other side. Grab the dumbbell. Three, two, one. 12 reps each side. Think of your control. You'll hear me say this all the time. It's about where you should be feeling it and always think about where you should not be feeling it. No pain or pressure in a joint or your back or anywhere. We just wanna get stronger, release it. Lift up and down. You got two more. Last one, and set it down. Nicely done. We go quick transitions. We go pretty quick in the movement. So get ready to go right back into your second set. Bring it down. Nice. If you did lift four, this is going to feel familiar because we did 10 reps. But now, because it's lift more, we got to do two more, two extra. That's just one small little tweak besides the fact that we're sitting on a bench as well. Getting into it. Grab the weights. Roll it up. Lean back, get set, press position, three, two, one. Press up and rotate, and down. We brought the bench into lift more to help give you more stability, enable you to lift even heavier and challenge yourself. The bench adds that stability factor, but we don't wanna go down too far into the press. Save all the muscles for later, keep your control, not too quick, press up and rotate, and right back down. Nice, two more right here. There's 11. Here comes 12, and it's always those last two reps, and that's how you're gonna know that you felt that, right? Okay, supinated, bring it around. Get set, go ahead and grab the dumbbell, get ready, and go. And we're going to go through this, and you're going to hear me say a lot. I know it's only two sets, but when we go into three especially, you're going to hear me say lighten the weight. I'm going to say that a lot because you're going to see us do it. <laughs> it's going to happen, and that's a good thing. There is so much volume training in this program with the pace, with the amount of reps, two more, that I'm going to challenge you. There's 12 right there. Bend your knees, set it down, switch sides. 
And if it challenges you, it changes you. Get ready, set, lift. Down and up. I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna tell you, you gotta go more. You gotta go heavier. You gotta go harder. You gotta go faster. But we're gonna do it the right way. Elbow stays in. No shrugging, just lifting. Feel the strength in your back right now. Lift up, two more. Last one, and bend your knees, set it down. Nicely done. Just like that, block one is done, getting into your second superset. Now watch, we're gonna take the bench, we're gonna change the position into vertical. Some benches don't go exactly vertical, they're slightly inclined, that's okay, because it's time for shoulders. One of my favorite exercises, shoulder arm openers. Longer lever, and then, you're gonna go into biceps. So here, this is the extension. Elbows locked in the bent position. You're gonna open up and then close. And you're gonna stay lifted the entire time. So that's gonna be a lighter weight. I've got 15s, Katie's got fives. You got 10s? Trust me, that's a challenge. And then we go into seated iso curls. One dumbbell, get that ready to really get into the bicep move. Old school bicep move where you get to watch your bicep while you do it because who doesn't want to watch their bicep while we're lifted, right? I mean, come on. Pick up the dumbbells, arm openers, back flat against the bench, get your core locked in, three, two, one. Open and close. Constant time under tension. Try to keep your elbows in line with your shoulders, your wrists are straight line. Do not let your elbows drop. If they start to drop, you need to lighten your weight. This is not an easy exercise. Stay lifted. Yep, right off the bat, you feel this one. Two more. Last one. No, yeah, I felt the 15s. Set that down. Bring your other weight in. I'm going to 30, 15, 15 25. 25. Now, bring it down. We're gonna put the elbow right to the inside of the thigh. This allows us to really get into the bicep isolation. Grab your dumbbell, other hand on your thigh, chest is lifted, three, two, one. Now we have our legs a little bit wider. This allows us to get inside the thigh. Now you see, by doing this, we are really getting into the bicep isolation. Lift up, then back down. You go full extension all the way down. This is Austin's favorite part, yeah. is that full extension. <laughs> and what that does is that takes all the momentum away. So there's no swinging. It is all bicep. Two more. Last one. Ah! It's that full extension every single time. All right, switch sides. And that's also what gives you those little T-Rex arms feeling. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up and down. Get all the way down and back up. A lot of times in programs, people are looking for a modifier. They're saying, hey, what's our modification? Well, this is the nicest thing about weightlifting is the fact it's up to you. Your modification is your weights. So yeah, so you're not up against anybody else. It's you versus you. Obviously, when we get into any other moves, hit or core, here's 11. We're gonna give you modifications if you need to. There's 12, set it down. Every single move, every single thing that we have in Lift More is all about making you stronger, better, faster. So we're gonna help you through it. We're gonna pace you through it, but we're gonna push you through it. Speaking of pushing, we gotta do it again. <laughs> Arm openers, bicep curls, even off of the two sets, I still feel the pump in my chest, I feel it in my back. Mm -hmm. And then, let's go ahead and finish the shoulders off. Set your feet, back flat, lift it up in three, two, one. Open and close. Don't rush. Hold on to the dumbbells, try to keep them in line. Straight arms out and right back. Yep, 15s are heavy. It's that constant time under tension. Longer lever means further away from your body. Come on, a few more. Ah, are we? Two more, last one, and bring it down. That was right about when the lifting face started, yep. where you're gonna make the lifting face. You're gonna go, oh, ah. Bring it around, finish off the bicep. Get your elbow in, chest is lifted, back is flat, three, two, one, lift up and down. Full extension, control. Use your leg 
to not let your arm move side to side. So you shouldn't see your knee move outward when you curl up. Keep your back flat. If you need to lift a little bit, that's fine. Feeling the 30. Ah, couple more. You got this, guys. Lift up. Two more. Last one. And down. I'll tell you right now, if there was three sets, I would have had to drop my weight, lighten the weight for the next one, because that 30 is brutal. Let's finish this off. Three, two, one. Bring it up and down. Make sure your arm is on the inside of your thigh, not sitting just on top. Bring it down. So if you need to drop a little bit lower, you can do that. And then go full extension, all the way down. Full release. Make your bicep do all the work. That's gonna keep it long and lean. Come on. No swinging. Two more. Woo! Last one. Ah! Okay. Bring your fingertips up underneath. A little stretchy stretch. And then we're gonna change the bench one more time. We're gonna bring it down to flat position now. It's gonna be our last change. And we're gonna use it like this for the rest of the workout. So nice and flat, still secure. And we're gonna do two exercises on the bench. Bring it into a medium weight, finishing off the upper body with triceps press. Bring the dumbbells down, 90 degrees, angle. Keep the elbows squeezed in as you push up to the top, going 12 reps. Then we get into the lower body. Come here, Raph. We bring it around to the side. We're gonna pick up one heavy dumbbell and go bench hip thrusters. You slide down the bench, middle to upper back on the bench, heels underneath the knees, hold on to the dumbbell, pressing up and back down. Getting into hamstrings and booty now. That'll be a heavy dumbbell. Triceps, bench hip thrusters. Cool. cool. Did you get all that? Don't worry, you'll get it. You just gotta do the program. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go. Where's my 30s? I'm going. What are you doing? I'm doing 25. Okay. Austin, what are you doing? Okay. Katie's doing the same way as you. Oh. Now, let's go ahead and lay back. Katie's going to have her feet on the bench. Make sure you're secure. Elbows in. And we're pressing in three, two, one. Push up and down. Before we go into any exercise ever, weighted or non-weighted, you should always be stable. Have your balance on the bench or the floor. Press straight up. Bring it down. Try to squeeze your sides with your elbows as you push up and as you come down. Keep your shoulders relaxed, no shrugging. Two more. Last one. And bring it down safely. Yeah. Uh, did you feel it? I, felt I knew you could do that. All right, grab one heavy dumbbell. And when I say heavy, I mean heavy. I got the 60 right here. Now, here's what I want you to do. Sit down on the bench first. Put the weight on your lap. Secure it and then bring your feet out. Use your hands on the bench. Slide down safely. Then you adjust your feet as you need to, keeping your hips lifted. Okay, now we're set. Hold on to the dumbbell. Drop your hips into a loaded position. Bench hip thrusters. Three, two, one. Lift up and down. Now watch our heads. The head is gonna move with your body. It's a natural movement. We're not throwing our head back. We're just letting it move as the hips come up. Keep your knees in line with your body. Don't let them flare out or cave in. Push through your heels. Feel the squeeze at the top, that split second, and then back down. Nice, two more. Last one. Okay, now watch. Slide all the way down. Put your hands to the ground, slide down, and just let the dumbbell roll off to the side. Just leave it there. Yeah, give a little love, Pat Austin. And we're gonna do it one more time. All right. Bring it around. Now you see in our weights, as I take you through the weights, we're challenging ourselves. I'm not gonna be working through here, walking around saying, hey, good job. I'm gonna be pushing and challenging you to go just as heavy, to push yourself. That's what the team's gonna do. That's what the lifters are gonna do. And it's up to you if you're up for the challenge. And we know you are, because you're doing it right now. Let's go ahead and lean back. Get set, bring the elbows in, stable, three, Two, one, push up and down. Every single rep should be just as good as the last one. No matter if you start to fatigue or it's the first rep. Perfect form, perfect technique leads to better results. 
Squeeze the elbows in. Hold on to the dumbbells. Come on. Ah, two more. Last one. <laughs> Bring it down. <laughs> Those last two reps. I heard Katie on that one. That was a little E. That means it's working, right? Yep. All right, bring it around. Grab your weight first, set it onto your lap, just like I taught you. Then you're gonna slide down. Trust me, the more you do this, the faster the transitions are gonna be. You're gonna glide through these and get ready to go. Drop your hips. Three, two, one. Lift and down. Neutral alignment, squeezing at the top. I want you to get that full squeeze at the top, that split second and down. Bring it up and hold, and down. Nicely done, everybody. Lifters are looking great. Feeling it in your hamstrings, in your booty cheeks. Lift up, and down. Come on, a few more. Two more. Last one. And then go ahead and drop it all the way down to the ground. Let it slide off of you. Ugh. And you'll hear us say, as we go into this, you get off that and you're like, get off me, man. Here we go, two more to finish off your weighted portion. Two leg exercises because you have two leg days in lift more. Narrow, front-loaded, narrow squat. That's your first move. You're gonna bring your feet right up underneath the hips, create the shelf on the dumbbell, sinking down, right back up. That's your first exercise. Second exercise is gonna be a wide leg deadlift. Knees locked in the bent position, hold on either side of the bell, bringing it down and right back up. I'm gonna go 40 on my front loaded, but I gotta use the 60 again, man. Katie has a 50 right there for the Y leg. Yeah, you're already laughing because you know what it's gonna feel like. Yep. It's gonna be challenging, and that's the idea. All right, here we go, front loaded. Bend your knees, pick up the dumbbell, set it right up against the shoulders, bring your elbows underneath, create the shelf, set your feet, three, two, one. Down and back up. I want your butt to drop down and back. Stop right in line with your knees. Keep your chest lifted. If you ever feel this too much pressure in your lower back, you lessen the weight or go body weight only. This is a challenging move, but now we're getting really into your quads right there. Sink down and press right back up. Pace yourself. You got two more. Last one. Nice, bend your knees, bring it down, get it out of the way, and then come into your wide leg. Now, we're gonna hold on to the dumbbell on either side of the bell. So get your feet set first. You can bend your knees, grab the weight, toes face in the front, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. You got it? Got it. Yeah, here we go, three, two, one. Dive down and right back up. Back is flat, eye gaze follows your movement and stop before you feel your shoulders dropping. So you don't actually come all the way down to the ground. You should feel the stretch and the squeeze and the hamstrings and squeeze your booty as you come up. About mid shin height, that's where we're stopping. Right back up, whoo! That's such a good one for hamstrings. Bring it down and back up. Two more. Last one, you got it? <laughs> and back up, bend your knees, set it down. Imagine three sets of that one. Woo. Now, we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna go through this. Sample workout is a shorter workout, and speaking of shorter workouts, we also have lift more express workouts. So if you're short on time, we've got 20 minute workouts. We focus on one muscle group, like a chest day, a leg day, an arm day, shoulder day, all of them. And that allows you to get a good pump in only about 20 minutes. So no excuses, y'all. Pick it up. Let's get set. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Bring it down and back up. I'm gonna take all of your excuses and we're gonna lift them out. We're gonna get rid of them. We're gonna make you stronger. That's why you're here. We're gonna lift you in more ways than one. Sink down, push up. Core locked in. Come on. I'm feeling the 40, guys. Straight down. Two more. Starting to see some sweat coming down. Last one. And up. Can you sweat lifting weights? Yup. Just wait. Just wait. So you do the full one. Bend your knees. Grab the weight. Get it set. 
All right, get your feet set first. Sink down, pick it up. 12 perfect reps, please. Toes point to the front. Three, two, one. Down, back up. As we go into these moves, going forward, chest is lifted, shoulders are back. The weight is dead weight, which means your legs do all the work to bring it down and bring it right back up. Come on. Breathing, I hear Austin breathing. <laughs> down and back up. Come on. Two more. Ah, Last one. Uh-huh. And up. All right, you're done with all your weights. Get those out of the way. Bring it around to the back of the bench. All the weights move, we go into two hit moves. Body weight only. Using your bench, so as always, we make sure the bench is flat, it's stable, seated squat, jump, hoo, 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 hoo. and then bench high plank mountain climber. So here's your first one. Come around to the side of the bench, sit down, heels right underneath the knees. You're going to jump up from the squat, sit right back down. Keep your feet planted, butt in the center. Lift up, the minute your butt touches the bench, you jump right back up. Modification, Katie's got you. We'll talk about that in a second. Second move, watch out, don't wanna hit you. Hands stacked right up underneath the shoulders, flat back, bench, mountain climbers. Cool? <laughs> All right, two times through. 45 seconds each move. Can I get my timer in three, two, one, let's go. Oh yeah. Now, you got a modification here, heel lift. Katie's got you for that one. So you don't have to jump. High intensity doesn't necessarily mean high impact. We're just increasing intensity, but keep your feet in line with the hips. So if you're wide, I need you to bring them in, stay narrow just like you did in that narrow squat a few minutes ago. Bring it down. Keep your feet planted on the ground. Do not lift them up. Straight up and back down. Come on. 10 seconds left, team, you got this. Feet stay planted, come on. Hoop, get him up. In three, two, one. Woo! Just got real, real fast. <laughs> All right, stack your hands underneath. Shoulders right over the top, flat in the back. Mountain climbers in three, two, one. Lift him up. Modification. You're gonna slow down, bring your knees towards the bench. But I want you to try to keep your back as flat as possible and not lift your butt up, which means it's all lower body right here. Breathe, keep your shoulders stacked, especially on the bench. This is what I'm gonna see a lot of right here. You see the angle? Bring your chest over the top of the bench, then load it up. I know, you're working through it. It's quick, keep breathing, keep smiling, keep going. Ah, come on, in, three, two, one. One more, there's a the sweat, listen up. Keep your feet planted on the ground. So when you sit down, feet stay planted, legs stay loaded. We're not lifting them up, here we go. Three, two, one, lift up and down. Team is rocking it. The lifters look great. We actually have two people in the lifters right now, Sabrina and Becky, right here. They did three rounds of Lift More. They killed it, they look amazing, they're strong, and I promise you, you stick with this, you're gonna see amazing results. You're gonna get stronger. You may not like me at times, but you'll love the results. Core stays in, push up, get off the ground if you can. Come on, lift up, whoo, keep going. Finish this off, three, two, one. You should be out of breath right now. You should be out of breath right now, right, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always gonna be 45, 15, but you lucked out. They only have to do it two times instead of three today. Three, two, one, go. Last 45 seconds of the hit. Load it up, core is in. That means your core is engaged. It's like if you cough, you feel it tense up, that's what it should feel like right now. 
So you're supporting all of the muscles. And then load up the legs by bringing them up towards the bench. Slow down if you need to. Speed up if you can. Whew. And just watch the sweat drip off your nose. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. You're almost there. Look at that. You see it? 10 seconds. Come on. Whoo. Stay with us till the end. Three, two, one. <laughs> now, look, I know that that wasn't technically a burnout, but by the end of that, your legs should be just like, uh uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. No mas. I got nothing left. <laughs> All right. You good? Still with me? Okay, cool. One more block, core. We're gonna use the bench. Lay on back, and then take your hands. Bring them right up underneath your lower back and your butt, support the lower back. Shins are gonna come parallel to the bench. Head down, single leg extension. One leg at a time. We're gonna stay on one side. Modification, check out Katie right there, heel drop. Second move, heels down, toes up, single side, oblique crunch, not a sit up, a crunch. You can lower your head, stay lower in the range of motion. Katie's got you for that. Two exercises, 45 seconds each, two times through, and then you're done. Here we go. Timer's up in three, two, one. Single leg extension. Slow down and think about your move. Shins are always gonna be parallel to the floor. What that means is from the knee, you see the hip, knee, shin, right here. Not towards your chest, not out of the way. Perfect alignment. This allows you then, flex your foot, push away, and load up. Keep breathing, keep your control. This is a basic lift more move. We're gonna progress it as we go in the program. As you get stronger, I'm gonna challenge you more and more. That's why it's called lift more. Come on, three, two, one, set it down. You might also feel that in your leg a little bit Mm -hmm. from what you just did earlier. It's like it's all connected or something like that. All right, bring your hand onto your obliques and then reach towards your heel, tuck your chin and lift. Three, two, one, crunch. Single side, bring it around. I really want you to try to reach for your heel. You're gonna see some core moves have the bench, some do not. Whew gonna keep the variety going. That's why I love the bench so much is we were able to bring more variety into it, not just for the lifting, but for the hit, for the burnouts, for the core. It's just, it just brought you more, guys. You're gonna hear that word a lot. <laughs> How's my team doing? Excellent. Austin's just smiling the whole time. Stay in the crunch a little bit more, bro. So you crunch to the side, get inside. There it is right there. Side on, three, two, one. I know those muscles are getting in the way, man. You gotta get into it, right? <laughs> All right, one more. We're gonna go to the other side now. So get reset. Think about what side you did and make sure you're gonna switch on this one. Flex your foot, extend out, shins parallel. Three, two, one. Extend out and back in. Katie's got the heel drop. The heel drop is exactly what it is. It's not a knee drop. So the feet, you'll see the leg stays in the 90 and then she just drops down. That is still getting into the core muscles, getting into your abs, obliques, all the good stuff. Just take a little bit of that lever out so you're not going as far away from your body. But we're gonna go slow. We're gonna go controlled. We're gonna keep challenging you, keep pushing through this till the very end. Make sure you're breathing. We never stop, we only modify. You stop when it's over. You've got three, two, One, and bring it down. One more, reset, heels down, toes up. Other side, crunch into the side. It's not a lift, it's a crunch. You just stay lifted in your crunch and then go into the obliques, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Side on, 45 seconds left, and then you're done. No more after this, except for a little bit of a cool down, which always feels great. So tuck your chin. And just like the weightlifting, are you feeling it where you should? Right here, that's why I said put your hand on your obliques. We got this, you got this. We start together, we finish together, come on. 
up and crunch in to the side. Owie, feeling it, come on, you're almost there. You get to cool down in 10 seconds, look at that. See, there's no cheating because you got the timer right behind me. <laughs> you gotta finish it. Three, two, one, and release it. Set it down, good job. Bring one knee into your chest, help yourself up. And we'll even use the bench to cool it down a little bit. So, all right, spread your legs out, heels down, toes up, push your hands on the bench, lift your chest, and then gently fall to the front. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Nicely done. Feels good from those deadlifts. Roll it up. Whoo, nice. Go ahead and stand on up, <laughs> if you can. You all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bring it up, quad stretch. Now, stretch and recovery, it's important. We do quick recover, quick cool downs in the actual program, but there are two lift more upper and lower recovery days. Switch sides. We give you two days off and we have two recover workouts, upper body and lower body. Team actually helped me right and we had a lot of fun because we knew what stretches you needed from this program. You're gonna use the foam roller. You all right? <laughs> That's a good thing. Bring it around. All right, shoulder stretch, bring it down. And speaking of recover, you gotta feel your body, guys. We will have a recover after every single workout because we need it. You demand more from your muscles, you gotta feed your muscles. You gotta say, hey, I need more so we can have Superman tattoos on the other side. There it is, other side. Speaking of recover, Raph, please, sir. I like some recover. <laughs> Thanks, man. See, Raph has always got me on this one. So we gotta recover. That is your sample workout, everybody. You did a great job. Katie, Austin, this is my team. You're gonna see two more of the team, CJ and Ingrid, as we go through this. You're gonna see the lifters every single day. We hope to see you eight weeks of lift more. I promise you, you are not gonna regret it, right? 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 Good job, everybody. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, okay, I need this. I need this. Where's yours? Well done. You felt that, right? Yeah. Now imagine eight weeks of that, five days a week. One word, shredded. Talk to your Beachbody coach to sign up for Beachbody On Demand and maybe invite a few people and throw out a challenge or two in your coach's bod group. And by the way, now is the right time to dial in your nutrition with 2B Mindset or Portion Fix. And the Total Solution Pack can help you get started. Maybe do a few workouts with me on Bod Interactive until your official day one. Nothing better than getting a little head start on your nutrition and fitness so you get your routine locked down. Thanks again for joining us and taking the first step because if you want more results, you've got to lift more. I'll see you right back here for day one.